What's up, mother truckers? It just came out. Freight Waves just released this uh, publication, and I'm going to share the links down below. But Schneider, you guys got 12,000 drivers, just got hit with $47 million nuclear verdict. And we got to talk about this. And to cut things short, it's a Schneider company driver that cut off another pickup truck or what have you. And that pickup truck crashed into an owner operator truck driver and that truck driver passed away. You know, so cutting someone off that leads to a, a fatal crash. You know, does does that warrant a forty seven million dollar nuclear verdict? Let's get into this video. You guys let me know what your thoughts are. What's going on, mother truckers? Uh, we need to talk about this right here. Freight waves just uh, dropped a big one on us. Uh, a nuclear verdict that a jury is slamming Schneider National with forty seven million dollars. Right. And so I want to walk into this, but in essence, it's a Schneider trucking uh, company driver that cut off another truck and that truck ends up crashing into a owner operator that's in the emergency lane and that owner operator passes away. And so this story is going to seem a little confusing because, you know, the story almost didn't add up because the company driver wasn't even there, right? He drove off. And so it's kind of crazy. It says here, Schneider Daryl Joachim had only two months experience as a truck driver prior to crash, right? And so before we get into all this, I want to read some of this that you get a better understanding of the multiple violations that Daryl had. Right. It says driver dinged with multiple safety violations. However, uh, Daryl's Qualcomm records show that he had amassed several critical driving events for heartbreaking and stability control issues. His motor vehicle record MVR report, which he reviewed during his deposition, showed that he had been involved in multiple crashes during his seven month employment at Schneider. I'm really surprised Schneider kept him on with multiple crashes in seven months, right? While on a three-month performance improvement plan at Schneider, court rec records show that his dispatcher documented that he had received five more critical events notice prior to being fired. You know, so it's, it's one of those things where he is just prone to accidents. And the reason why it was two months in before this crash happened was because he drove off. They didn't figure out it was him in two months later. According to the documents, Jarvis Nancy Sr., owner of Nancy Trucking LLC of Powder Springs, Georgia, was struck and killed around 5.40 a.m. on August 17th, 2017, near the Camp Creek Parkway after exiting his 2007 International 9400 tractor. So he was on the side of the emergency lane potentially something wrong with this truck, right? That does happen. So Philip Taylor, who was driving a 2009 GMC Sierra C 1500 truck owned by High Ridge Partners of uh, Canton, Georgia, told investigators that Daryl, who was driving a white tractor trailer for Schneider, swerved across multiple lanes of traffic and into Taylor's lane, forcing him into the left lane and onto shoulders where he struck and killed Nancy, the father of three, which was the owner operator. So at that time, you know, Daryl, you walk him, kept on driving on. And so they didn't know about this until just months later until court documents uh, came out and Nancy's attorney asked Schneider for uh, the GPS of if anyone was near that area. So after looking at that investigation and there's 12,000 drivers with uh, Schneider, they found that there was one driver and that was Daryl Joachim, right? And so in his testimony, he says that he wasn't there. He was at a JCPenney distribution center at the time of that accident. But of course, the GPS shows that he was actually driving during the time from 443 to 544, right? And so three days before the crash now, 
On August 14th of 2017, Daryl went on Facebook Live as he demonstrated how to back up a Schneider tractor trailer. I tried to find this right into a loading dock at the J.C. Ben, uh, Penney's uh, Distribution Center in Kissimmee, uh, Florida. And during that live, he actually backed into a pole, right, into the six minutes of trying to teach people how to back up, right? Court records state that Daryl worked for Schneider until January 2018 when the carrier terminated him after his random hair follicle drug screen test came positive. And they give him a retest, and he fails it again. So... This is someone that is using a user for one and the second had multiple accidents on their MVR in the seven months. I'm really surprised Schneider didn't let this driver go. And I think because of all that record and mistakes, uh, that's why they are giving that verdict of $47 million, you know, awarded to uh, Nancy seniors, uh, family or what have you. So, my truckers comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? You know, as a, as a truck driver yourself or a small carrier, you know, if you have a bad driver, I hate to say it, but you might have to let them go because if not, this could come back and bite you in the butt. And essentially at the end of the day, what this driver did was cut off another driver. Right. And so I don't know. Do you, do you agree with this $47 million verdict or not? You know, that's that's the big question. But my truckers, comment down below.